Everything you need to make your home a castle that you've always dreamed of is right within your grasp. All it takes is a little bit of creative ingenuity, a positive outlook, and the determination to tailor make your home into a functional and comfortable place for your family. On the Suburban Chateau, we will discover all kinds of crafts, gift making ideas, decorating tips, gardening suggestions for you to try to implement in your little corner of the world. Join us on the Suburban Chateau. Hi, Stephanie Everett here with the Suburban Chateau. And today I'm going to show you a really great project that I've been working on in my home for over 20 years. And I've been tiling my backsplash for all these years with six by six tile trivets that we've collected over the years at different historical sites, different national parks, different state parks. I have churches, all kinds of local historical sites here where we live um, in central PA. So um, I alternated those with just inexpensive six by six tiles that I get at the local home depot or Lowe's. They're less than 50 cents and um, they're readily available almost anywhere. And so I just made a backsplash out of these inexpensive trivets and it's so much fun because we can revisit some of the places we've seen over the years. Some of our tiles are also um, made by friends who have taken photographs or logos uh, that we've given to them and they've actually made them into tiles. I have a friend who makes tiles. So you'll see the Brigadoon Experience logo um, when I show you the kitchen tiles and it's something I've really enjoyed doing and you're gonna get to see the last few tiles go into place. Okay, to adhere our tiles, um, the last, just the last few, I am going to be using liquid nails for small projects. Um, normally, when I did a lot of this, I used a white mastic, just like you would with any other tile. But for this one, because it's just a small thing, a small project, I really found that the liquid nails for small projects work great. And um, you just get a little glue on here on the back. Just put a couple little pieces here. And, um, and we're going to just put it right in place and then I hold it in place till it dries um, just with some painter's tape, just something simple. I will be putting grout on these as we go. I just want them to be level and all heavy. That's the hardest part of this. Okay, so if you notice, I have a white towel here, so I'm going to go for a pattern tile next. Happened to find one at our local um, antique shop that is uh, just like a... Gettysburg, been there many times, and they knew I had a couple more spots to fill. So we said, hey, we've been to Gettysburg, let's get a Gettysburg tile. So if you wanna try this, a lot of antique stores have these kinds of tiles. I'm gonna put these corner pieces in. They'll just sort of finish off the whole job. They always do a nice job. Now that my tiles have had time to adhere to the wall, it's time for that last step in the process. If you've ever done tiling, you'll know that that is grout. So all I did was went to my local um, home improvement store and purchased some simply just pre-mixed grout. It was about $12 for this whole container. Um, and it's bright white, that's what I'm looking for. Um, in this because we have white tile plus the colored tile and the white just simply goes into it. And you can see this is the whole area here that still needs grouted and then the project will be completed after 20 years. So um, here we go, we'll add some grout. I'm gonna take that pre-mixed grout and I'm just gonna use my fingers because it's such a small area and work the grout into the joints. A little messy.
Once that grout is on, then I'm just going to take a wet sponge and clean off the excess. Now, as with any tiling project, you're, wanna, you're gonna wanna go back over your grout several times with clean water each time. So dump out your old water, get clean water, and make sure there isn't any of that grout residue on your tiles. And then probably tomorrow I'll come back over and just make sure that's all cleaned over one more time. And uh, per my directions on the grout, it says after 24 hours, then you can wash and use it just like you would normal. So um, it'll be all dry and ready to go. So there it is, grouted and project complete. Thanks for joining me on this adventure for the Brigadoon experience with our tile backsplash. When I started out this project, I truly only had six tiles. They were all blue and white and they went right behind my kitchen sink. I never knew I'd be able to fill up my entire backsplash with tile, which has been a really fun process. I'm sure there are some variations too that you might be able to try, maybe with four by four tiles. They seem to be a little bit more in vogue these days than when I started my project 20 years ago. Or maybe a mosaic with broken china. I think that would be so much fun. A little less structured than I did, but I think you could be very, very creative with that as well. Hope you picked up some great ideas this time, and thanks for joining us. On the Suburban Chateau.